visits online. Hi there, I'm Peng Ye, the Chinese and English docent of Yunnan Provincial Museum. This time we have English visits, and we have Chinese and English captions under here to help you understand if you need it. The topic of this time is why do we refuse to talk about price in the museum? In the museum, we're always asked, "How much is this piece of collection worthy of?" Well, our answer would always be, "It's too valuable to have a price. It's priceless," and we、we'll、do that with the proud look on our face. But the real reason is, we don't know the price either. Well, just for joking. Actually, the real reason is we believe there is something we better not evaluate with a price, and those things happen to be what we want to promote in the museum. So, what are they? We better see it through some specific collections, and you know what? It's the star of our museum. Let's go. This is it. It may be a little bit difficult for you to tell exactly what it is at the first sight. You may recognize an ox or cow, a tiger, and a calf under it. More than 2,000 years ago, some creative craftsmen had to cut away the most part of the back of the ox or cow and made it into a table. Of course, not an ordinary table, but a table used in the sacrificial ritual. Today, we may not understand the importance of sacrificial ritual in the old times, but it has been said in the history documents that the two most important events in the old times, one was the all, of course, and the other was the sacrificial ritual. So, the sacrificial ritual was as important as the all at that time. Just imagine. More than 2,000 years ago, at the holy event, people, with all their attention, would put a sacrifice, in most cases meat, on this table, and beg their holy gods to enjoy it and bless them thereafter. So, to them, this table must be holy, and even unnecessary touch of it must be prohibited. Then, secondly. There have been a lot of ideas about the story behind it. Local people love it, and they're talking about the mother cow protecting her child from the attack of the tiger. Indeed, it's a lovely story, but it may not be the true story. From the historical and archaeological studies, experts have found out that it is an ox instead of a cow, and this species of the ox. With their big horn and the characteristic bump on the neck, was brought in from India, so it may not be a mother. And about the little one, it cannot be a calf, because from our common sense we can see a calf could not have a horn as big as this one. It should be an adult ox made into a smaller size. Then the problem is. If it is not about the lovely story, how should we understand it? After years of studies, experts in our museum believe it symbolizes rebirth. The bigger ox might be attacked dead from the attack, but there is new life coming out of it, which is the smaller ox. And don't forget that it was used in a sacrificial ritual. No matter what people would pray for in a sacrificial ritual, no matter it was harvest, victory, rain, or health, they all hoped that their tribe would be long-lasting, which also supports the rebirth theory. There is the third theory, the accident theory, which says the table was made in this way just by accident, without much of the meaning we have given it. Well. Who knows? Last but not least, the design. The smart craftsman had put the tiger at the back of the ox to balance the whole article. Otherwise, it would lose its stability and fall forward. It may be the way of the tiger to attack from behind, but it may be not. But anyway, it has made this table into an art. That's the end of this story. It may be a little bit long, but have you realized we haven't mentioned for once money or price? 
The story of the Prasuri Stable can be about the understanding of history, the appreciation of art, or even study on technology, which are all we want to offer in the museum. I even think it is distance away from everyday life that has made a visit in a museum and immersed in a spiritually delightful experience. And it is those experiences that will support us when life fails us.